trying very hard. Now we're going to succeed. Joining me, Don Bolduck, New Hampshire Republican Senate candidate, retired U.S. Army Brigadier General. Don, thank you. I know we tried hard, but here we are. And what's so interesting to me, this election may turn on fracking and oil and gas production. And I want to get your take on this because Senator Hassan seems to want more strategic petroleum reserve selling and now more home heating reserve selling. Now, is that really the answer to the shortages and the high price of heating fuel? No, it's absolutely not. And she knows it. Uh, she's just trying to stick to the Democrat playbook there, the Joe Biden playbook, which has caused, you know, all of the uh, inflation. You know, we, ha we have a moral imperative here. The misery index is high. It's going to continue to get higher. Uh, natural gas shortages are, are going to drive blackouts in January, going to drive, you know, electrical prices are going to double in December. Food is going to continue to go up. People are going to be choosing between heating and eating. We got to turn on the spigot, which was my recommendation, uh, you know, reverse the tax increases that, that, uh, that they did as part of this uh, really poorly named Inflation Reduction Act, which was merely an, you know, an IRS, uh, you know, uh, expansion act uh, and, a, and a tax increase for everybody across the board, particularly the middle class. All this needs to be reversed. And she has voted against that as late as August. These are the things that we need to do. And we're going to have to get to work on this as soon as we get to Washington, D.C. Granted, staters know it. I took it a task on this. Uh, in our debate, uh, you know, at 12 o'clock today at NHPR, hmm. uh, and she just insists on continuing down this road uh, that got us here. And uh, Granite Staters are waking up to it. I mean, if you've got a shortage of natural gas and a shortage of home heating fuel, can you actually stand up, let's say the debate or wherever, and tell people we should close down the fossil fuel industry, which is what Biden is saying and what John Kerry is saying? I mean, she actually says that, sir. Yeah, she actually supports it. She thinks that the road that they're on, uh, you know, with the Green New Deal and all these things that they have passed is the right road to be on. She refuses to acknowledge inflation. There is nothing on her website or anything that she puts out with the word inflation in it. She refuses to recognize the hardships of moms and dads and retirees and everybody here in this state choosing between heating and eating. I mean, it is it is as if she doesn't, uh, you know, almost she doesn't care. She owes us all an apology, really, for, you know, what, you know, what she has done and how she has voted here in the Granite State to create all these hardships. Has she voted against any of these spending bills at any point in the last two years? No, sir, she has not. You know, our records show that she hasn't voted against anything. And as a matter of fact, she just doubled down on them on the Senate floor with voting no to expand oil production. Uh, she voted, you know, no for any kind of uh, reversal of the 87,000 IRS agents and the $80 billion to go to the Border Patrol to help secure our border. Uh, she, she refuses to acknowledge the opioid crisis, mental health crisis, human trafficking crisis, high crime that all her votes have created. Uh, she stays away from that issue. She tries to say that she's visited the border and talked to all the experts down there. Uh, but if she had and she had listened, she wouldn't be doing the things that she's doing in, in uh, the United States Senate. Well, you're closing the gap. That's what everyone's saying. And Rick Scott's coming in with some money. I don't know what's wrong with Mitch McConnell, but I'm powerless over that. But you're going to have some resources. So, General Don Bola, can you do it? We can do it. And, you know, we're uh, we're right there. We're at a dead heat. She acknowledged on Monday that that. Uh, that she's going to she's probably going to lose uh, and she needs more money. She had 30 million dollars so far. I've been doing it on a million dollars. Mm. She's got 30 million of special interest lobbyists uh, and very rich, wealthy elites uh, to help her tell her lies. And it's not working. Granite staters are hurting. She's not acknowledging it. And we're going to win. Good luck on the campaign trail, Mr. Don Bolduc. We appreciate it, sir, very much.